the appropriate song to introduce Phil on the line. Hello, Phil. Oh, hi, guys. I thought I'd have a word with you before the nurses tuck me in for the night, uh, just so I hear your reassuring voices before I go into the land of slumber. Yes, we'd, uh -huh. we'd planned to give you a call a little later on and see how your first day of rehab went. Well, guys, it didn't go too badly at all. It was uh, quite physical and... Uh, and quite punishing. They've had me today um, graduating from my wheelchair to crutches, which I thought was quite an achievement. I've never used crutches in my life formally. Uh, then I've got the Zimmer frame to uh, move around uh, the room. And also, um, Bruce, they had me in the gym today on vertical bars, which I know has always been a specialty of Jill. Oh, very, very much so. Yes, yes, like calisthenics. <laughs> yes, I love it. And boys, would you also believe with my crutches, they have had me actually climbing stairs today too. Gee, that's an achievement. Isn't yeah, it? be yeah. very. And, and they have a mock-up of a car in the gym and they've had me jumping in and out of the car. You have to be so careful when you've had a total hip replacement that you could dislodge the socket and, uh, you know, completely destroy the work that's been done. You're not allowed to twist and turn. You're not allowed to bend more than 90 degrees, which means that you can't put your own shoes and socks on. You can't cross your legs. There are all sorts of do's and don'ts uh, so you don't have a relapse. Isn't that interesting? So th now I wasn't aware t at this point. I knew you'd busted your hip, but that was all I knew. So they've re completely replaced that socket. Uh, yes, uh, uh, well they had yes the the bone as well and uh, and the whole socket. But you know there are people worse off than I am. I discovered here I'm in rehab, as you know. Um, the two things: it's a wonderful, wonderful hospital. Upstairs they have a mental health unit, and there's a lot of young people here uh, who are depressed and with various anxiety problems, they're treating those. And I was sitting outside in the courtyard this afternoon with a lady, and I hadn't noticed she was also in a wheelchair. I said, oh, what are you in for? She said, oh, a month ago, she said I was in a bad car accident, and I lost my right leg. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. And, and she said, on top of that now, they're, they're finding heart murmurs. So I, I think my... My reason for being here is, is to cheer other people up and make them feel a bit brighter, yes. maybe. Ever since the accident, you have, I think every night you've said, um, there's always somebody worse off than me. And I think that's been a very good, uh, it, it's a good outlook, uh, isn't attitude, it? Attitude, a very good outlook. Yes, well, well, I'm glad you said that, and I'm going to try and be a nicer person next mm. year. But also, also, when they take me to the gym and they say, do 15 push-ups, I say, no, I'll give you 20. So I'm trying to go that extra mile all the time, and, and I've been uh, pretty well pain-free. I haven't had any painkillers at all. So uh, for 24 hours here back in Melbourne, I've really made some good progress. And Bruce, what was very pleasing, and you won't know this yet, but three hours ago, I had a call from Shane Healy, who said, we are very, very keen to get you back on air sooner than later. And he has a couple of ideas at the back of his mind that might see us united sooner than we expect. Oh, well, that's, that's great. An OB from the rehab place, huh? Hey, yeah, well, easy to press uh, straight down the... Um, straight down the freeway and he's home again. Oh, by the way, I had my very first visitors this afternoon. Uh, my lovely friends, Jill and Edna, have just left me. But earlier this afternoon, who should drop in on me but Blackish and their daughter, Tiffany. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, oh, so that's that, beautiful. So, that, so that's all given me best. Everything that's happened today has been very, very positive. The meals are cooked on the premises, boys. And um, I'll just tell you what I had for dinner. You have a choice, but I chose barley and vegetable soup, followed by a grilled pork chop and pineapple, um, and then a peach and sponge and custard. It's lovely. Uh, but I did say, uh, with a twinkle of my eye, but hold the rice and the chopsticks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, do they speak English? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Although you wouldn't believe it. The nurse is looking after me. She said, oh, she said, I was born in Hong Kong. Uh, she said, I was born in the same hospital where you have been for 10 days. Oh, isn't that ironic? Oh, I know, it's, it's amazing. But uh, everything uh, everything happens for a purpose. God has a reason for everything, even when we have setbacks. Mm. And I've, I'm starting to see a pattern emerging here <laughs> as to what's happened to me and why it happened to well, me. Well, what's the pattern? What do you mean? Well, the pattern is I'm spreading good cheer and oh, a lot of love and, and laughter. Mm. By being absent. Um, now, 
Daryl Ray, who uh, does our traffic reports, our nightline helicopter pilot who flies without lights, uh, asks exactly the same question by text that, I, that has gone through my mind. How many fags? Oh, very few. I, I occasionally, uh, you're very mean to ask that question. Yes. I occasionally have one as a reward after uh, a very physical session in rehab, and I think I deserve that just to uh, come down a little bit from yeah. uh, from the pain threshold. That's right, and it's a good uh, a good backup to the exercise you're getting. Yes, well, right. not only that, but it's a good conversation starter if you're outside with somebody and you can light up for them. Oh. Suddenly you've got something in common. Yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, right. Twenty push-ups will give you will help develop that extra lung capacity so you can suck in more noxious, poisonous, cancerous chemicals. Oh, by the time you see me again, boys, I think I'll be off the fags altogether. Do you look, There's no future in it. Do you look different? Do you look... Do you, uh... I, I, hear, I hear I've lost a bit of weight, and that was because of those 10 days where I couldn't eat that vile food in uh, oh, Hong Kong. All right. but, but apart from that, uh, you wouldn't notice much difference. No, no. All right, Phil, well, it's really good to catch up with you each night as we have, and particularly tonight as you're back in Melbourne and things are going well in rehab. And Bruce, I'll owe you a few Fridays when I get back on my feet. Oh, I think about 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a good weekend, boys. Thank you See very you much, Phil. Phil.